around uh, this uh, Litherland Sports Park arena and uh, Berwick get us underway. Ball's knocked forward by Berwick. Gilboy in possession. Local game for him today here in Liverpool. There's the ball from Lewis Gilboy. Had too much pace on it. Here's Gilboy for Berwick. Pokes it wide right to Sean Higgins. There is a bit of a bobble on the pitch. Doesn't run through. As the ball goes back and it uh, just runs off the knees of Niall Cumming. He couldn't just get it under control to get a shot away. Bit of holding in the box there as the ball comes deep into it. the six-yard box. But it's an easy take in the end for Jack Atkinson who fires it forward. Tinning knocks it down the left hand side and then Lewis Gilboy flattened from behind so that will be a very free kick on the far side and it comes on quite a low trajectory it's volleyed clear it spreads it wide right ball played into the box and then Jack Atkinson with a good shout and then uh, throw in and it comes Hunter gets it under control oh, it's not fully cleared snapshot comes in from Dooley but again I mean that was a bit of a daisy cutter effort Higgins on this near side plays it into the middle oh, lovely piece of skill there from Harry Brazell and Comba just couldn't turn his defender and the ball runs harmlessly through to Jones themselves nonetheless Niall Cummins does really well, and then he's just clattered from behind by uh, Luke Denson. And it was, it, it was right in front of the referee as well, maybe three yards away. So, Williams, Hunt, looking for Higgins on that right-hand side. And then... Uh, Dooley's gone down. I'm not sure who put the challenge in as uh, one of the young Berry fans retrieves the ball. Denman looks to spread it out. That's a super ball and lovely take by Gilboy. Gilboy inside the area, but just overran it and Nugent will get it away. Yeah, Gilboy gets it back to Comber on the left hand side. Ball played into the middle, just too high for. Higgins, but Brazel can pick it up on the edge of the area. Holt does well to get it off. Hay plays it into the mid, looking for the head of Niall Cummins. Ball's headed away and then driven forward by Richards, only as far as Denman. Denman tries to play the ball forward to Gilboy, but goes out for a throw in on that far side taken by Richards here's Lachlan ball forward looking for Cal Hunter but the offside flag goes up against the Remicka striker Here's Atkinson for Berwick. He's got time and space to bring it out of his pedal. Cummins can do something. He finds Sean Higgins, gets the ball, just hit a defender. But that is the end of the first half. A goalless here at the Level and Sports Arena. Uh, fairly even first half on a, a tricky pitch. from the Litherland right and it comes it's punched away and then knocked away out of play by a Berry defender so 
It's going to be a corner on the far side. Well, there, was, there was a little player that stayed down a bit there. He's now back to his feet. Still there. The corner comes in. It's a deep one. He's got a lot of height on that, aiming for the big guys at the back. But uh, referee Mr Milburn has seen an infringement and Berry will have a free kick. Williams does well, gets the ball away up towards Cummins. Connor Cummins picks it up on the right hand side and uh, just tried to step past Lance Horton, but the big defender reached a, a very long leg out and knocks the ball out for a throw in, which has been quickly taken. Then Connor Comba is flattened by Houghton, and that will be a very free kick from the right hand side to deliver and it comes near post it's away at the second attempt nice play there by Denson gets the ball forward and uh, Atkinson gets the ball at the second attempt <coughs> willed forward by Higgins can't find Berry have got a chance of a break here down the right hand side Gilboy He's quicker than the defenders. The keeper's come well out of his area and knocks the ball out for a corner. Yeah. Sean Higgins is coming. And then as Higgins goes past it, Ben Dooley, he's just clattered. And that will be a very free kick. And it's going to be a yellow card. It's going to be for Oliver Nugent. As Tinin prepares to deliver this ball in, and it comes. It's a deep one. Denman gets his head to it. Ball's cleared. Five, effectively. Uh, and then you pile the likes of Cummins. Cummins pulled back by Hay. I think, again, when you pile in the likes of Cummins, Denman, Hunt, Tinin's not too far off, off their height as, as well. It's... He's getting quite congested height-wise. Trying to uh, get a shot away. Two-man wall. Here comes Combat. Piles it in. Oh, the keeper oh, has to palm it away. Ball foot still not fully cleared. Yes. And it's knocked home Joe by Joe Denman. Well, the ball came in from the free kick. It was parried by the keeper. There was a little knock back and the ball fell for Joe Denman and he turns and he smashes home from six yards and Berry take a 1-0 lead here at Liverland Sports Park in this second half. Well, it's probably the only set piece that's not gone high in the last, what, 65 minutes. Um, as, as I was saying before, it's, it seems to be the, the case that the height hasn't really worked. Jack Tinning, Gilboy on this near side. Steps inside one, steps inside two. Can he get a shot away? Yes, he can, but it's... I think that might have just bobbled up as he was making a connection with it because it flies off to the left of uh, Ryan Jones's goal. Here's Harry Brazell gets past his man, brings it forward. Still going. Brazil with a shot. Oh, good save. Keeper, I mean, he's a big lad and he was at full stretch to get on. Tip that over the crossbar. Fine effort by Harry Brazil. Back for Doyle. Doyle delivers in left footed. Little flick on by Wharton. Still not fully clear. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Moore hits the crossbar. It's been deflected out for a corner. Not sure whether the keeper got a touch to that, but the ball certainly came off the bar. Sorry. Offside flag should have gone up there. Stared down. Shot comes in, good save by Atkinson with his feet. Ball's picked up by Dunn on the left-hand side. Tries to get... Gilboy gets past the first defender, and then Free he's been... Kick. He's been pulled back and he's going to see a yellow card here. There have been that many scribbles on this paper today. As the ball comes in, headed down, Save. saved by Atkinson. And then Berry get the ball away, out for a throw in on the far side. But referee's not noticed it.
Now he has. As, as, the ball, as the ball. Oh! What was that about? I don't know, but he's going to be having his marching orders. Lance Houghton's. Well, surely that should be a free kick for Berry. And Ben Ward's he's got what? Done will take from Ready that far side. Charlotte Richard have got a third against AFC Liverpool. And it comes, it's headed away only as far as the uh, number seven, Oliver Nugent, who uh, tries a speculative attempt on goal, but uh, was more suited to uh, the Millennium Stadium for this afternoon's rugby than it was on a football pitch. Not, not the best one, it's headed away by Charlie Doyle. Ball's delivered back into the box, though. Back post. And then uh, Jack Atkinson just falls on the ground Berrett as Sinnott prepares another one of these long throws Jimmy Moore gets the ball away he's got snow on it and then uh, Connor Comber gets a touch balls out for a throw in also would have just hit the bar in the game there Sinnott will launch another throw in from this nit far side can Comba get on the end of it? Yes, he can. Plays it inside for Brazil, and the final whistle is blown. So another win on the road for Berwick, courtesy of that Joe Denman goal. But it was a hard-fought game. Matthew, thank you very much for your contributions um, this afternoon. A key point for both Radcliffe and Marine there in the Northern Premier League Premier Division. It's finished in the game between uh, Charnett Richard and AFC Liverpool. They've won 3-1 as the Berry fans applaud off with and show over the man's sense of...